That's man. right. Yeah. You going down, so called white man. Fuck, fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Bubba Kasha, check this out. And I'm going to show the camera in just a minute. This is Belgium in the 1950s. These are one of the NATO troops. They made a human zoo out of oh, our people, man. Damn. The same way that they make it, uh, taking pictures of us and shit, they had a human zoo. They giving the little girl shit as if she's a fucking animal, man. All right, so they made a human zoo out of our people. We gonna make a human zoo out of you niggas, man. Right. Put y'all ass in fucking fat huh. iron like the scriptures say. That's right. Put your ass in a goddamn cage and never feed your ass, man. That's right. You piece of shit. Get the scriptures. Right. This is Genesis chapter 9 verse 6. That's right. Whoso shed his man's blood, my man, his blood shall be shed. So if you right. shed a man's blood, your blood gotta be shed. Now who shed more blood on the planet Earth than a so-called white man? Who? 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 That's, that's a oh, Hey, hold on. Hey, that's the thing, man. That's the you, you got a dyslexic, an uh, incest, a product with incest eating my talking shit, man. All right? He's a re. He's, hey, hey, he's horny. Eat him while he's killed their own people, too, you dummy. You ain't shit. You ain't Exodus, shit. Exodus 21 and 16. And he that stealeth a man uh -huh. and selleth him, what? if he be found in his hand, Okay. He shall surely be put to death. And that's why the so-called white man got to get put to death. That's when, right. when, the, when, when the Lord come back, are we not going to be found in their hands? That's right. All right. And it's not just a black thing, because you, you dumbass Latins and you Native Americans, Seminole Indians, y'all Israelites too. That's right. And the so-called white man did the same thing to y'all. That's man. right. They just mad because the I truth have, being brought out. Can I, I scripture slot y'all? I'll grab the scripture real quick. He got one. It's Proverbs chapter 15. And this is what's happening right now. Verse 1. It says, a soft answer turneth away wrath. Uh-huh. But grievous words still are anger. And that's why he's mad, man. That's why he's mad, man. Right. Them, them right. grievous words as brothers are pouring out through the spirit. His ass is salty, man. All type of pe uh, pepper and salt up in that nigga, man. I got so much for you. This is a rock, chapter 9, okay, okay. verse 17. It says, Salaki. <laughs> Sarak is not an anointed book. Sarak is a testimony of Jeremiah, you idiot. Sarak, 9. And 18, a man of an ill tongue is dangerous in his city. That's right. And when you go into that word ill, it means offensive, hurtful, evil, pernicious, speak despairingly. Do not, we do all those things, man. The scripture says, a man of an ill tongue is dangerous in his own city. And he that is rash in his talk shall be hated. The scripture said, he that is wrapped in his talk shall be hated. That's why they hate us, man. Because we let me go into that word, rash. Hey, from the, from the, they feelings hurt, man. That's all it is. The so-called white man feelings is hurt, man. Because the truth of y'all by Shinao Shah is coming out. Let right. me get this word, Bob Shah. Oh, this is the word, rash. Mm -hmm. It says that he that is rash in his talk shall be hated. That's right. And the word rash from the late 14th century, it says nimble, quick, vigorous. Vigorous. It says, um, flash of lightning, quick, swift, quick witted, reckless, impious, heedless of consequences. Let's get it. And that's us in a nutshell, man. We heedless of consequences, man. This Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come. And the time of the dead that they should be judged, because y'all spiritually dead. That's why y'all have no part in it. Y'all ain't going to take heed until shit hit the fan. Then y'all going to be looking for it, but we ain't going to be nowhere to be found. Man. That's right. All right, so the nations were angry. This motherfucker's angry. And his blood yeah. showing forth through his skin that he's right. truly red and not white. Because right. white means pure. That's y'all right. ain't pure at all, man. Right. Right. Y'all got, right. 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 got shit Come. to pay all the way back to Adam and Eve, man. Y'all got shit to pay for, man. So the we're nations we're were angry. Real white people, man. That's right. It says, and thy wrath this come, that's why you upset. Cause we tell you that you gotta go into slavery under us. Y'all, and we look, it, it's cool when we be slaves for everybody else. Alright, that's cool. We did our do. But now that y'all gotta be on judge, y'all gotta go and try now. It's a problem. Yeah, to them niggas, hell no, nah, we ain't gonna be slaves to them. You know? So it's a problem. It says and I wrath this come. Y'all know that y'all got a short time, man. Yeah, y'all ain't got that chip out yet. Y'all know what to do. Y'all scrambling. Knocking shit over, you know, trying to figure out what to do, man. And if I can say this, what's that devil name, man? The one who came up with the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, man. Uh, the, uh, uh, is it Harvey? Uh, uh, no, he was, uh, uh what's his nigga name, man? Jay Edgar Hoover. Yeah, that's, that's the name, man. Jay Edgar Hoover. That's the one I was thinking. The nigga who created, the nigga who created uh, the FBI 
he the one who said that they was they created that shit was to prevent the rise of a, a black that's messiah, right. man. Right. That was the original reason for them creating the Federal Bureau of Investigation, man. That's right. To investigate, because they knew that Israel was going to wake back up, man. That's right. The goddamn devils, man. Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry. So not just Esau going to be angry. All the other nations that have no part in this going to be angry. Because we telling you, once again, you have no part with us. All right? We, like Ezra, we building our city. You have no part. You have nothing to do with us serving our power, man. You, uh, you have no affairs in this thing of ours. And I can't say this too. Uh, and then like how Esau, Esau only get mad like that when, when brothers when brothers getting up out of that black culture shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Like whenever you, when you when you tap dancing and busting them rhymes, he ain't, he ain't trying to correct your ass. But when you, when you, when you doing the right thing and you getting outside of that, 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 that shit that he established for your oh, ass. You. Now you like, I hold on, nigga. Who, who, that, who the hell do you think you are calling yourself being righteous, man? Yeah, man you can't do true. that. You're not a and, and then, see, not... Why don't you go do that to them black, uh, the black culture? Correct them niggas, man. Right. Yeah, but he That's trying to correct right. us for being righteous, That's right. man. As if I was the first man. one on this damn country, man. So-called white man is finished, man. That's right. He is done. The scriptures say that the ten tribes came here to the land of Osiris. Osiris is the land of the unknown, the Americas. They started in the southern um, uh, uh, Americas and uh, like Brazil in that area, that continent, and worked their way on up, man. All right? They was the first one. They was the indignious people here before y'all came talking about go to your country. We was the first fucking ones, man. Right, man. The first ten tribes is since second and the thirteenth chapter, man. It's, our world. it's, it's a little bit more. I got, I got it on deck. It's saying the nations were angry. Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry. And I wrath has come. In the time of the dead that they should be judged. These people that spiritually dead, y'all got to get judged. All right? It, say, it says, uh, 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 and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy service. The price of the Lord, what are we doing this for reward? That crown of life, all right? And we was going into the spirit before we can, we gonna get all that. The land and all that back. And also, too, that said, the time that the dead shall be judged, that's going into the other nations. Like, now we're on the spiritual table, on the physical. We go to uh, Isaiah 14, chapter. It's called, it, say, it talks about the dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I was uh, alluding to. Yeah, no, you good. You good. Yeah, the hell is risen. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, yeah. It's saying, grab that. Grab that one, because I want to get it, you know, right down in my school. And say, and uh, should give reward unto thy service, the prophets, and to thy and to the saints, which are the Israelites, and them that fear thy name, which is only us, the elect, Lord willing, we of the elect. It says, small and great, and should have destroyed them, which destroy the earth. Now, who put chemtrails in the sky? Yep. Who put fluoride in your water? Yep. Who give you GMO foods? Yep. Who give you bullshit snow that catches on fire? Yep. Snow that turns black when you put a light yeah, on it. Who's putting poison in your, uh, in your vaccine? Your vaccines? Your, vaccines. Yeah. your medicines? Your medicines? Yep. And okay? If, and if I can say this too, these fetuses in fucking pop. And food. Yeah. And soda and shit, man. And, 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 oh, and, and, it's like, y'all. He saw try to ration, rationalize all that with using so called psychology, man. He would try, he'd be like, we gotta destroy half the, half the people on Earth because it's overpopulated. That's Nigga, a lot. Uh, man, the world is big as hell, man. What are you talking about, man? Right. Or he'd be like, we gotta kill off uh, this many people because they're having too many babies. So that, that means that mean you miscalculated the most high. You said yeah. the most high made the Earth too small. Come too on, small. Man. Hey, oh, right, because where you go, like in good. Ohio, good. man, good. say for instance, like the brother Drew drove to um, Chicago. Man, all that country, man. Greenery. Nothing, yeah. not, Greenery. not Greenery. Feel Greenery. Right. Greenery. The, right. The earth is not overpopulated, man. You That's just what? what they tell you because they put us all in, in, in major cities yeah. right. like this, man. Yep. That's right. They tell Everybody you that the earth is overpopulated. A uh, metropolis. That's what this would yeah. be. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. when I went on an airplane, man, that's where you could really see yeah. it, man. That's right. From the from the airplane, from an aerial view, yeah. man. Yeah. I was looking down. I was like, what the fuck? All this land, man. There's so much land out here, man. The houses, they look like... They little as shit, man. Little dots. That's right. He couldn't build enough houses and malls and shit, man, to, to cover the earth. So how much more when the Lord compares to grasshoppers in Isaiah 40 and 20, say he that sitteth in the circle in the circuit of heaven, you know, uh, he, he compares to the grasshoppers, what we paraphrasing. It's from an aerial point of view, that's how he looked. And it was an analogy, an analysis, you know, like an experiment done, saying that uh every person with it being because Esau did a census he's going up doing that, but there being roughly eight billion, nine billion people, everybody could fear Texas to get one acre of land apiece. That's right. Here. In the yeah, in the yeah, earth. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in the earth, not just yeah. Israel. Everybody could get one acre of land in, in Texas alone. How much more Alaska, which is larger than that? Or every other land, they just they Russia. pack us they pack us the fuck America, together, man. <laughs> America, they pack us together to make you think it. They even did an analogy, and I'm going to give it right back when we get these scriptures, but one more right quick. They get an analogy with cars. If one person in each car take up a lot of space, four people, that take up a lot, like 20, you know, 20 foot by 10 foot space. If they was all on bikes, it'd take up half of that. If they was all walking, it's even less than that. Why so they, they get an analogy, but with the aerial view of cars, and then they downsize the bikes to walkers. 
it's not that many. It's, it's, it's way more space than y'all think it is. Uh -huh. and, and, they, and the food ain't the damn problem. You know, y'all, they, they choose. Russia completely banned the import and exports of GMO food. America said, let's get rid of the nutrition label. This ain't the damn devil, man. Come on. You got it. This man. Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. That's right. For blood, it defileth the land. That's right, right, so America is defiled. Right. If blood defiles the land, America is the most defiled land on the planet. That's, That's right. According to the Bible. Man. That's right. right. And, and not to mention, hold your peace, not to mention, or it's the blood of the Israelites. That's right. That's what that's what's really got y'all fucked up. It's the blood of the saints, man. Yep. Yep. All right? right? All them uh, so-called Native Americans and Seminole Indians that the so-called white man slaughtered. Yep. You want to talk about niggas killing each other in the street? All right. right, it's hundreds of millions of fucking natives that y'all slaughtered. Why y'all ain't talking about that? That's right. Why y'all ain't talking about the Latin tribes that uh, the conquistadors and the Spaniards slaughtered? That's all right, and even uh, Benjamin and Levi, man, because during the uh, the construction of what the Panama Canal, Canal, man, a lot of fucking Benjamites and um, um uh, Levi died down there, man, because they was working uh Zebulon too. They was working explosives and shit, and they didn't have the proper instruction or the knowledge of it. They just blowed up and shit. You know, they was just killing Jake, man, and paid the least money, man. The so-called whites, they had a uh, good lodging uh, uh, quarters down there. But Jake living with roaches infested rats and shit with these Edomites. And they got the, um, they paid them off of gold and silver. All right? And, and, and of course, they paid Jake the silver. And he saw the gold and they didn't have to do no rigorous labor, man. And they, they killed a lot of people. No, go ahead. And they think they're not going to have to pay for it. That's, that's the craziest. Right. That's the that's a prideful motherfucker, man. To go around the whole world killing people and think nothing's never going to happen. Right. That's right. In Psalms chapter 10, verse 13, it says, Wherefore doeth the wicked contemn the Most High? He hath said in his heart, There thou wilt not require it. Right, and that's, that's the spirit of the so-called white man. They think the Most High is not going to require all right, a uh, recompense for all the shit that they did, man. Yeah, right, yeah. All right, and yeah. once again, man, you touch the sons of God, man. All right, whether you believe it or not, I know we just some niggas on the corner to you, right? All right, we the sons of y'all, boss, him, y'all shot. All right, ain't nothing on the earth higher than that, man. That's right. right, and that's why your ass going down. I got precepts. This uh, Ecclesiastes chapter three, and verse fifteen. It says, that which have been is now, uh -huh. and that which is to be have already been. Okay. And the Most High require of that which is past. The Most High require of that which is past, all right? So all that shit about it was a long time ago, guys. It was a long time ago, all right? And, and, and uh, you niggas just need to get over it, all right? Fuck all that, man. We gonna get our revenge on y'all, man. That's right. right? When, when, when who you call Jesus Christ come back? Who is Yahweh was shy, Hamashiach, all right? Hey, he gonna put y'all in slavery, man. Right. And that's gonna be some real slavery, not that little bullshit slavery y'all had us in, man. We gonna really torture y'all, right. right. especially your proud ass, man. That's right. right. He got his bag. The scriptures say what? Bad. Bad. You mind if I grab something? Okay, right? sorry. Uh, he's gonna go home and beat him. Come on, man. This is gonna beat him. Numbers chapter 35 and 33. So he shall not pollute the land wherein he are, for blood and be fought of the land. That's right. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed, but by the blood of him that shed it. So the only right. way for this land to be cleansed of the blood that's been shed in it is if the so-called white man blood gets shed. That's right. Whether you like it or not, man. Right, you got these so-called white people walking around like they're Christians and they believe in the Bible. Right. When you bring the truth out of the Bible, they don't want to hear it. That's right. You don't want to hear about your judges. This is Psalms, chapter 58, verse 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance. Uh-huh, the righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance. And what's the vengeance? The fall of the so-called white man. That's right. That's the vengeance. That's right. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, man. All right? It's going to be a lot of bloodshed of the so-called white man out here, man. And we're going to rejoice, man. I just get to even say, happy to see that take a die little one. That's the song. All right? The most high going to turn our spirit up out here, man. And that, that, and that blood, that's a parable, man. The Lord ain't going to get none of y'all disgusting-ass blood on them, man. All right? That's just a parable, meaning that the Lord's going to shed a lot of blood, like the brother said. Y'all blood ain't going to splatter on his fresh ass. He got on his Sunday's vest, and you think he about to... Jake don't like a nigga... Jake gonna kill a nigga for stepping on his shoes, man. You think he about to get some blood on your outside garment, nigga? Fuck out of here, man. There's going to be a lot of bloodshed, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on 35. Man, come hear the word. Eat a mic. You ran out of...